Our adventure starts within the boundaries of a Roman military camp. It was here that the legions were formed and the soldiers were trained for the challenges that were to come. The life of a Roman soldier was characterized by strict protocols, rigorous training, and unwavering allegiance. In order to fathom the tough path that lay ahead of these service members on their way to retirement, we must first comprehend the path itself. Every stage of the process, from the initial recruitment through the strenuous training to the challenges they encountered on the battlefield, was a test of the soldier's strength and resilience. We immerse ourselves in the ruins of a Roman fort so that we may get a sense of how the people who lived there went about their everyday lives. The troops who lived and trained behind these defensive walls formed a close-knit society that depended on camaraderie and discipline. In the midst of uncharted territories, the fort served not just as points of protection but also as nexuses of civilized activity. They gave the soldiers a taste of the comforts of home and served as a constant reminder of the obligations they had to the empire. Roman troops had intensive training and were well equipped to meet the myriad of threats that existed during that era. In order to keep the Roman Empire on top of the world, its soldiers followed strict military protocol, maintained an unbeatable organization, and developed novel military strategies. However, despite all of the splendor and order, the road to retirement was filled with peril and uncertainty. The soldiers were constantly exposed to the danger of being killed, wounded, or captured in battle. We are going to a battlefield where Roman legions fought against their enemies so that you may have a better idea of the dangers that these warriors encountered. We now reveal the selfless acts performed by these brave warriors in this place, which still reverberates with the sounds of long-ago conflicts. The soldiers were up against powerful foes, including warriors from Germanic tribes and Celtic nations, as well as other competitor civilizations. They risked their lives to defend the borders of the Roman Empire, frequently doing so in dangerous environments distant from their homes. The terrible realities of being a Roman soldier are exposed here on the battlefield. They were subjected to the anarchy and carnage of combat, suffering wounds, psychological damage, and death. Those who did make it through the ordeal, however, developed unshakable relationships with their fellow troops and an unyielding loyalty to the cause they fought for. Despite the fact that many soldiers were killed in combat, some were able to achieve the cherished goal of retiring. But what did life hold in store for them in their golden years? And how likely were they to make it to that point in their lives? In order to get to the bottom of the mystery that is retirement, we will put ourselves in the shoes of retired Roman soldiers. We learn the stories of these war heroes who gave up their weapons in exchange for a life that was less chaotic and more tranquil within the confines of a Roman villa. The level of privilege and comfort accorded to retired soldiers was commensurate with their years of service to the empire. They were given land grants, pensions, and the respect of the villages in which they lived after becoming members of the veteran class. Upon reaching retirement age, soldiers were given the opportunity to establish themselves in their communities, start families, and continue to contribute to the growth and development of the empire. They frequently became powerful members of society, where they applied the military training, discipline, and expertise they had gained to their new professions. However, retirement did not ensure a life filled with peace and quiet for the retiree. The troops were forced to contend with the difficulties of reintegrating into civilian life, negotiating the political terrain, and coping with the physical and mental scars that their duty had left them with. We visit a Roman baths, a site of relaxation and socialization, in order to have a better understanding of the life of veterans after they have retired. They discovered peace and fellowship with other veterans of the military service here, where the seas were calm and peaceful. Veterans were able to talk to one another, share their experiences, and find solace in the fact that they shared a common bond at the bathhouse, which functioned as a hub for social interaction. It served as a poignant reminder of their former experiences together, as well as the ongoing companionship that had been built on the battlefield. Retirement presented its own set of obstacles, but it also gave me the opportunity to look back on my time in the military and the relationships I developed with my fellow soldiers. We overcame a lot of adversity together, and the things that we went through together continue to have an impact on our lives even now that we are at peace. Our travels will lead us beyond the battlefields and into the peaceful worlds inhabited by Roman soldiers who have since retired. 
After enduring the hardships of military life, these soldiers looked for refuge and a fresh start in the tranquil countryside of the empire. Immersing ourselves in the routines of these veterans allows us to get a better understanding of what it means for them to be retired. They not only ensured their own survival by toiling away on the fertile lands that they had gained, but they also made significant contributions to the empire's economic growth. Within the confines of a Roman villa, we are privy to a glimpse of the luxuries and opportunities that retirement bestowed upon these service members. These luxurious mansions served as symbols of their newfound status in Roman society, as well as their devotion to the Romans. Veterans of the military were able to relax and revel in the bounty of their environment while appreciating the results of their years of service. They were able to take delight in the simple things in life, engage in activities of cultural significance, and cultivate new relationships within their own communities. The Roman Empire's social structure was significantly impacted by the contributions of the retired warriors. They rose to prominence in their communities, where they became revered for the roles they played in the armed forces and regarded for the insight and experience they possessed. However, retiring did not come without its share of difficulties. These warriors were forced to adjust to the ever-shifting social dynamics of Roman society and negotiate the intricate political terrain of the empire. We dig into the center of urban life, the Roman Forum, to gain a better understanding of the relationships that former Roman soldiers had with Roman society. Here, in the midst of the bustling marketplaces and public areas, people participated in activities that were political, social, and cultural in nature. The retired soldiers used their power and contacts to take part in the government of their communities, provide direction to younger generations, and contribute to the overall well-being of their own neighborhoods. The enduring impact left by the retired soldiers went beyond the specific sacrifices made by each of them. They shaped the communal memory of their service and sacrifice, leaving an indelible stamp on Roman culture and society in the process. We pay respect to the mausoleums of Roman culture where many of these war heroes were laid to rest after their service to their country. These holy places are a living memorial to the devotion and selflessness of their ancestors, and they ensure that their legacies will be passed on to next generations. These mausoleums are memorials of the sacrifices that these men made, as well as the lasting influence of their service, and they stand to this day. They motivate us to think deeply about the principles they upheld and the sacrifices they made for the benefit of society as a whole. The Roman Empire showed its retiring warriors thanks and devotion by constructing mausoleums as a symbol of this gratitude and respect. They were honored and remembered for their steadfast commitment to the empire, as well as their bravery and loyalty to the organization. As we come to the end of our journey through the lives of retired Roman soldiers, we take some time to reflect on the resiliency and unyielding spirit that characterized their later years. Their legacy will live on in the structures that form the basis of the empire as well as the principles that they impart in succeeding generations. Remember the retired Roman soldiers and the route they took as you go through the annals of history, my fellow adventurers, so that you can follow in their footsteps. Reveal the struggles they overcame, the commitments they made, and the things they gave up. Come along with us on our next journey as we continue to investigate the mysteries that surround our amazing world. Keep adventuring till then, and may the heritage of the Roman warriors who have retired serve as motivation for your own travels. We are grateful that you were able to come along with us on this enthralling excursion through the life of retired Roman soldiers. If you found this episode to be interesting, please subscribe to our channel, like it, and share it with your friends so that we can bring you further captivating investigations. Until the next time we get together, may all of your endeavors be characterized by bravery, wisdom, and the search for a meaningful legacy.